you've got a lot more flavour than your average Joe sort of tomato. Okay then. So, um, look, let's look at the uh, ingredients then for the tomato salad. You've got your heritage tomatoes. What else? Yeah, so we've got uh, we've got a couple of different dressings because it's it's not just a straightforward salad. Um, but we want to keep it fairly simple. The, the, the thing about the book is some of the dishes are quite complex and they're really chefy, and other ones are quite simple. And we, you know, we kind of want to get that balance really well that people are going to buy the book and have a go. Yeah. Because what's the point of it just being sat on someone's shelf? So, exactly. Um, yeah, well, no, yeah. you, listen, it won't be on anybody's shelf. It's too big to be on a shelf. <laughs> it's going to be on a coffee table. Can we establish that from yeah, here on? Yeah. Okay then. So tomatoes, come on. Yeah, so what do you do first? Literally, all I'm going to do is just slice the tomatoes up and season them. And it's very, very simple. But what it's... So he, so in, an, in negotiation with a foreign leader, you need to have people present. You need to be making notes. You need to have policy options. You need to be thinking through what the conclusions are, what the point of the meeting is. Trump refuses to do any of that. He wants to wing it. He wants to talk off the top of his head. He may have had other reasons for wanting to meet privately with Putin. We don't know what those are. We can guess. Um, but, you know, but, but there seems right now to be nobody serious influencing him at all. Chairman Applebaum, thank you for your time. Listening to that was Walid Ferris, former foreign policy advisor to President Trump. Mr. Ferris, welcome. Thank you. Um, he's winging it, he's not listening to his advisors, the advice he's getting is terrible, and now this invitation to Vladimir Putin. That's Anne Applebaum's view. Well, in Washington, if you listen to the opposition, uh, the Trump administration, the president are in chaos. If you listen to the supporters of the president, we have to trust him. We have a